Well, that's that. I'm Adam Green, and this week's edition of Cats Game is one I was hoping to put off for at least another week or so. The Wildcats basketball season came to an abrupt end when Ohio State's LaQuinton Ross buried a long three-pointer, propelling the Buckeyes to a 73-70 win in the Sweet 16 matchup. It was a close game that very much mirrored Arizona's entire season. A fast start was followed by a mid-game lull, which was then made up for by a furious late rally. But it was not only disappointing, but heartbreaking as well. Now, we could spend a while trying to figure out what went wrong in the game. Why did Mark Lyons virtually disappear for 15 minutes? Should Solomon Hill have taken over sooner? What was Sean Miller doing while the team was turning an 11-point first-half lead into a 10-point second-half deficit? And finally, what happened to the defense on the last shot? Those are all valid questions that we will never get an answer to, except for the last one, because we've since learned there was a mix-up with Grant Jarrett and Nick Johnson at the worst possible time. But you want another question that we'll never get an answer to? How about the one of how good was this team? Because in some regards, the Wildcats are one of the nation's better squads. They won 27 games and had victories over the likes of Florida, Miami, and San Diego State. However, they won just 11 of their last 18 games, finished 4th in the Pac-12, and failed to beat any of the teams that were ahead of them in the standings. The truth is, for all their great play and all their struggles, the Cats probably finished about where they should have, as one of the country's top 16 teams. Did they have the potential to be even better? Yeah, but they were not without holes either. They were really good at times and really mediocre at others. So in other words, they were pretty much the same as every other basketball team in the country. If I had to give the team a grade for this season, I'd say a solid B+. There was room for better, but overall, not really disappointing, especially when you consider how they had a shooting guard running the point and were relying heavily on freshman bigs. So where does the team go from here? Hill, Lions, and Pairs account for more than half of the team's total offensive output this season, so the team is going to have to find a way to replace the production of the graduating seniors. Nick Johnson will need to step up, as will Brandon Ashley, Grant Jarrett, and Caleb Tarzewski. Having a true point guard in Duquesne transfer T.J. McConnell should make things easier, and another excellent recruiting class will not only bring more talent to the team, but make it better overall with more depth. If all goes right, this team will not only be back in the NCAA tournament, but ready to make a deep run, too. The way I see it, the program is at a point where Miller has elite talent coming in on a yearly basis, and as long as he's running the show, the team will never rebuild so much as reload. Some seasons will be better than others, but I'm confident the Wildcats will be a contender year in and year out, and will win a national championship at some point over the next few years. See? Well, that's going to do it for this episode and season of CatScan. I want to thank you for tuning in each week and hope you learned a thing or two, even if it's that I'm really terrible at football predictions. It was a fun ride for both football and basketball, filled with some great highs and disappointing lows. Gotta love sports, right? At any rate, you'll be able to keep up with my thoughts by following me on Twitter, at TheAdamGreen. And don't worry, this won't be the last you see of me on video. Unless it, well, the boss actually watches this show and then decides it's not very good, but we're hoping that's not the case. Anyway, I'll plan on doing this again starting next football season, right here on ArizonaSports.com.